What's up everybody, this is Tyler here with Savvy Hut Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk with you a bit about synths. I've seen most of the comments you've been putting in my videos asking about how to create a decent sounding synth. Now first, before I even jump into this tutorial, let me say there are many different types of synths. I'm sure you know, as you've probably heard them. There's synths in rap music, hip hop music, as well as trance music, electronic music, all that cool stuff. So for this week, I'm gonna create a synth that's very basic, okay? It can go in a couple different genres of music, but let me follow that up with saying next week, I'm going to create more of a chord synth, sort of that violin sound that you hear in a much softer techno beats. So that's a more of a specific synth that I'll create next week. And the following week, I'll create more of a lead synth, something you'd hear in maybe hard style techno or you know, something a lot faster that would be more of a lead or maybe an ARP, something that sounds a little bit more like that. So this week, I'll go ahead and play what I'll be creating for you. And again, it's just a very basic synth that can be used in a couple different types of music. Now before I click play, I would like to point out there are two different tempos here. One is 120 beats per minute, the other is 160 beats per minute. The first thing you will hear when I click play is 120 beats per minute, and it sounds more or less like a hip hop slash rap beat, and then the synth is played throughout that. And then right after that beat ends, the second beat will go on, which is 160 beats per minute, and it sounds kind of like an electronic techno beat. Again, the beat itself is not the final product that I'm trying to get to you. It's more of how to create this synth, and from here you can take it and add on different effects and different sounds and things like that. So without going too much further into this, let me go ahead and click play. All right, there you have it. Without further ado, let's get this tutorial started. As always, the first thing we will do is go to File and New. Start completely from scratch. And the first thing we will do is go up to our sequencer, left click, and have that showing. The next thing we will do is go over to Channels. And on this scrolling bar here, you should see Citrus. Mine, unfortunately, is too far down from the area that I'm capturing the screen. So I'll show you another way to do it. If you're over in Add One and you got a ton of synths, you can't find the one you're looking for, or maybe it's not on the list, go to More. Just left click on that. You'll see a list pop up here. Here I've got Citrus. I'm going to actually select this one. You'll see every other plugin that you've got so far installed here on this list that may not be showing up on your favorited FL Studio channel list. So I'm going to double click on my Citrus here. And as you can see, it brought it in just like it would any other way. And the first thing I'll do is actually make sure I got my Citrus selected here. The first thing I'll do is go down here where it says Porta and Mono. If you don't see that showing, Maybe you just have like the plugin, you see piano keys. Click on miscellaneous. You'll see that I've got the options Porto and Mono. Let's left click on those to have them lit. Now that we've got Porto and Mono selected, click on your slide left click and drag it up to about 0 to 12. And you'll see in the upper left hand corner here, this is what's going to show you the ratio. And mine's at a 0 to 12. That's the ratio I've got so far on the slide. So next thing I want to do is going back into my plugin here, Citrus and click on this drop down menu that shows you all the different presets we'll just go to default so it's going to change it from that organ sound to more of a basic synth sound so if i hit q on my keyboard here's what it sounds like the first thing i'll do is make sure my op1 is selected and go down to where the shape section is you'll see the sh at the top of that left click that and drag it up to about halfway so 50 percent and it'll be a perfectly diagonal line going across. We'll also do that with OP2. So left click, hold it down, and drag it up until you see the diagonal line. The next thing I'll do is go over to my FX section here, this little tab at the top, left click that, and we will bring our chorus order up to nine. Next we'll go down into our matrix and take our operator one, which is affecting the FX tab here, and drag it all the way to 100%. So if you left click, hold it down, and drag it up all the way, it'll go all the way to 100%. Next, we'll go to our Out tab, and left click, hold it down, and we'll bring that back to about 25%. So right about there. And for 
the FX Operator 2 channel here, we'll click on this tab, left click, and bring that up to about 25%. And we'll do the same with the Out Operator 2 section down here, bring that up to about 25%. So that's good. Let's go ahead and hit Q on our keyboard to see what that sounds like so far. See, it's a lot different. Okay, the final thing we need to do in our FX tab here is left click on tempo and then left click on enable. So we want to make sure we enable the delay effect that we are about to create. In our volume section here, let's bring that down to about 20% and that should be good. The next thing we want to do is go to the main tab, left click on that, and in our unison order, which is above says ORD, left click and drag that up to nine. Okay, perfect. And you can kind of hear what it's going to sound like if you hit Q and then R at the same time. It's going to go kind of woo -woo -woo. that kind of a sound. So now what we want to do is quickly create the first pattern that I had here. Okay, and the next thing we'll do is right click on our default citrus synth that we just created and left click on piano roll. I'll zoom out and I'll quickly add in the notes that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. All right, now that we've got our synth set up here in our piano roll, we will left click on our sequencer and I'm actually going to copy this and move it to a separate pattern. As you can see, everything we've created so far is on pattern one, but I want to separate my kick beat here from my synth. So let me right click, go down to edit and cut. That way I've cut everything from my pattern one and I can change it separately. So let me go up to my playlist, left click, and I will paste just the pattern one beat that I created. So let me just drag that in there and I'll scroll up to pattern two Open my sequencer again. You can see this pattern two is completely blank. Let me edit and paste. So now my sequencer is on a separate pattern and I will drag that into track two. Now let's click song and hear what that sounds like all together. Let me click play. Okay, perfect. So that pretty much concludes the hip hop slash rap section of how you could apply this synth. The next thing we'll do is move into the techno -y upbeat electronic sound. And what I'll also show you how to do is change the tempo within the song. Obviously you can go up here and rotate it up and down or edit it smoothly. But if you wanted to jump from that 120 beats per minute to the 160 beats per minute, I will show you exactly how to do that right now. So first what I want to do is Set this section up, make sure it stays at 120 beats per minute. I'll click on the select tool up here at the top left hand corner and select this entire section. Next I'll hover over the tempo where it says 120 beats per minute currently and right click. And I'm going to create an automation clip so I'll left click on that. You can see there's also options here that you can choose from to add to the playlist. But for now I'm going to use the 120 and click on create automation clip. So now you can kind of see the tempo drawn out here. And I will set up my second tempo now since I'm talking about it. So I'll go up here to where the five is to where I'm going to begin the next set of measures and left click and select the next four chunks here. And I will scroll this up to 160 beats per minute. I'm just doing that with my mouse wheel here and then right click and then create an automation clip for the 160 beats per minute. So I'll left click that. You can see it created it. Of course, it put it at the very top track one because I've got no other instruments here yet. But let me click on this, my brush tool, and hover over it, drag it down just so it's on the same track that my other tempo is on. You can see a very significant difference. And I'm going to add the notes in for my electronic techno beat. So let me go to pattern three just so I can add a completely different set of kicks and claps. And I'll just do a four to floor, hat all the way across, put that in there, see what that sounds like. Very crazy, very quick. Now let's go into our pattern four and we will go to our default section here, right click. And the piano was already checked, so let me actually click on that one more time. 
Now I'm in my piano roll. Let me zoom out and I will add the notes that I had at the beginning of this tutorial for my electronic section. All right, now that I've got this quick set of notes here laid out, I will play this by itself in the pattern just to hear what the changing sounds will be like. All right, I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but I wanted to show how you can add different types of notes and things like that and how it's gonna sound you know, all over the scale. So let me go up to my playlist, left click on that, and all I have to do now is make sure I'm on pattern four and add that to the playlist. And remember we had this section off so we can just hear what it sounds like all together. Let's go up here to our song, that volume down a bit so you can still hear the kick in the background. I think you get the point. I'll go ahead and play the final product all together here. All right, as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this is just a very generic synth. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do synth tutorials, so I will do a few of them. Next week's will be more focused on the chord synth that sound more like, you know, violin, that kind of a thing, which is what you hear in a lot of very soft, trancey, nice sounds. So look forward to that. Um, you know, if you learned something from this tutorial, please give it a like, share it to anybody else that you think would find interest in it in the music industry, and hope to get a subscribe. All right, guys. Bye. will be creating in the end and quickly go through create it explain what I'm doing and how you can create the same effect all right here it goes